cheap and green. I have some additions to my collections that I wanted to share with you, so come and see what I've got. So my mercury glass and milk glass collection has grown over the holidays, partly because of thrifting and partly because of really great Christmas presents. Let me show you. This very tall mercury glass candlestick was a Christmas present from my mom, and I just love how it's got this embellishment at the top. It's just really nice proportions. The only thing I had trouble with was finding a candle that would fit because the um, Bath and Body Works candles just are a bit too big. But I was lucky enough to find this candle at Goodwill for only a couple of bucks and I think it'll do. This mercury glass candle was also a Christmas gift. It's just vanilla scented but it's really quite nice and light. And of course, I'll be able to use the jar when the candle runs out. And finally, this piece here I got at the ReStore. I think it was $3. And it's just really interesting the way it's got this sort of wavy glass pattern on it. And uh, also with the mercury glass. I discovered that I already had this milk glass candy dish. It was sitting in storage. It was wrapped up in a box and it probably had been there for I don't know how many years. I totally forgot about it and it was actually my mom who remembered that we had it so we went and dug it out. So that's a lovely addition. And this piece here is Goodwill. Gotta love Goodwill. It's just such an interesting shape, this goblet shape with these diamond patterns. I haven't seen anything in milk glass like that before. I think you've seen this one before in a previous episode. I really love that shape, that sort of urn shape. And in the summer, I'll probably put some flowers in there. This one is also from Goodwill, and um, you've probably seen that one. And finally, these three here um, came from my aunt. It turns out she had a collection of them, and when she was uh, cleaning out cupboards, she realized I was interested in collecting, so she sent them along to me. And I just think they're so beautiful. This one is so pretty. It's going to look amazing with roses in it. And then of course this one as well. Very similar to the other hobnail. Just a slightly different shape and uh, a smaller detail at the top. My aunt was kind enough to also send along these really darling candlestick holders. These are milk glass as well and I had been looking for something for my dining room table, something smaller, shorter, uh, sort of a more everyday kind of thing than my taller mercury glass, and I think these are just perfect. One of the things I just recently discovered is that a lot of the vintage glassware and dishes that I really, really love and collect are actually um, finished with lead. So that means if you use them for any kind of a food product, for storing food or baking, anything at all, the lead will potentially leach into the food and you'll be ingesting that, which isn't safe at all. So I had no idea, but milk glass actually does contain lead. So those are decorative only. I will not be able to put anything in them that um, you know will be food or drink, anything like that. So they're just going to sit there and look pretty. Um, the other thing we discovered in a discussion with uh, Kelly on House of Aqua is that vintage Pyrex is also made with lead. So those beautiful vibrant colors, they come from lead. So they are highly collectible and very beautiful, but should never be used with food of any kind. So you may remember this cute little vintage Pyrex dish that I had purchased in a, at Goodwill in a thrifting spree a long time ago. Um, I just, I really liked it and I thought it would make a great cat food dish. Well, guess what? That's not a great idea. Um, so this has been retired from cat food use and I'm just gonna use it on my kitchen counter to hold my kitchen sink plugs and scrubby brushes and things like that and it won't be in contact with food so it'll be okay. So that's it from Zoe and I. 
for Cheap and Green for this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the show, please subscribe, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you next time.